620,000 Rohingya refugees have only just escaped one of the most brutal cases of mass persecution in recent times, and the idea that Burma will now welcome them back to their smoldering villages with open arms is laughable. These are the words used by Human Rights Watch to dismiss the Myanmar-Bangladesh agreement signed yesterday in Nepido, with the intent to open the way for the return of the displaced whose exodus began on August 25th after attacks by an insurgent groups and the subsequent retaliation by the army. HRW Refugee Rights Program Director Bill Frelick called on the international community to make it clear that there can be no returns without international monitors to ensure security, calling the bilateral agreement a public relations stunt and adding that after decades of abuses and discrimination, it will be hard to build the trust necessary for many Rohingya to voluntarily return. Neither the Myanmar nor Bangladeshi authorities have revealed the details of the agreement, including when the repatriation of the 622,000 refugees will begin, Myanmar has said it is willing to receive them as soon as possible, but only after identifying them, determining their place of origin and sharing this information between the two countries. The current Rohingya exodus began with the retaliatory operation of the Burmese armed forces launched after the rebel group Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army attacked some 30 military and police checkposts in Myanmar's western Rakhine state.